Hello everyone, I am Ajinkya Kulkarni, co-founder of Talent Battle. Now, as we know, we have got a very important update that TCS MQT has launched off-campus, free off-campus drive for 2024 batch. Most of the students across India wait for this particular opportunity. Now, this year, as we know, due to limited opportunities which have happened on on-campus and for off-campus, most of the students were waiting for this particular opportunity. I have already created a separate video in which I have mentioned the pattern, I have mentioned the eligibility criteria related details. And as I have told in that video, I'm going to create, like I'll be creating a separate registration video. So this particular, in this particular video, you will get detailed idea how you need to register for this TCS NQT 2024 exam. Now, before starting, I will quickly share information about our platform, which is Talent Battle. Talent Battle is India's largest placement preparation platform where we help students for the preparation of aptitude, soft skills, coding, DSA, other computer subjects and interview preparation along with the latest technologies. We have thousands of students who have been placed in different companies. Recently, some of our students even got placed in TCS Prime through on-campus drive. Also, I would like to share that we have partnered with TCS ION for the content part as well. So just to share you the information, you might be knowing about the paid NQT exam, right? So whenever you register for the paid NQT exam, TCS ION provides you some content for aptitude and technical. That particular content has been created by Talent Battle team. So you can check the belief that TCS ION team is having on the content created by us. So for that also, we received special appreciation award last year. So this is more information about us. We are into this industry from last 11 years. Now I'll be starting with how you can register for TCS exam, TCS NQT exam. This particular drive is 2024 for 2024 batch students. Before starting, just I would like to add one more information. If you are looking to prepare for TCS, right now there are 28 to 30 days remaining for the TCS NQT exam. If you are looking to prepare from basics to advanced, where you are not sure about aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, previous year questions, we are starting a new batch of TCS cracker codes. You can join that particular batch. Later on, I will share you more details. I'm going to share you one coupon code as well, which you can use and then register for this particular package. This is the single course that you need to prepare for pre TCS. If you don't want to get confused by watching hundreds of videos on YouTube or get distracted, and if you want a proper study plan and roadmap, you can join this TCS NQT Cracker course. Now, let us start with this particular video. If you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to upload a lot of free study videos as well. Okay. So now this particular link I have already shared in this particular YouTube description. So you can click on this link and then you will get this particular web page. As we know, the registration has already started and the registration end date is 10th April. I would suggest you to register early. So whenever I have, like I have uploaded this particular video, make sure you up, uh, register today or maximum by tomorrow itself. So it will help you more to get your preferred in-center location because this particular exam is in-center exam. This is not a remote exam. So you need to go to a particular TCS ION center and attend the exam. Now, what are the exam dates? The exam date is going to be 26th April onwards. So exam may happen on 26th April or the on the further dates from 26th April. Okay. Eligibility criteria I have earlier mentioned, but quickly I will again revise it. This particular drive is specifically for 2024 batch for the following academic degrees. BTEC, that is Bachelor of Technology, Bachelor of Engineering, MTEC, ME, MCA, MSc, MSN, like any specialization offered by AICT, and UGC recognized. Basically, you should be from UGC recognized universities or colleges. Now, TCS is right now hiring for three different roles. One is Prime, another is Ninja, and Digital. So for Ninja, they provide around 3.35 LPA package. For digital, they will be providing you 7 LPA package. And for Prime, they will be providing you 9 LPA package. If you want to check the recent experience of one of our students who got placed in TCS Prime, we have added a separate video on YouTube. So you can go through that video, so you will get the idea. So over here, they are going to follow the integrated test pattern. 
in integrated test pattern basically they are going to have foundation and advanced section so i will quickly cover that part as well in foundation you are going to have numerical ability verbal ability and reasoning ability questions and in ad advanced you are going to have advanced quant advanced reasoning and advanced coding so in foundation section you do not have any technical part okay please note this now regarding eligibility criteria you need to have 60 percentage just check the first one you need to have minimum 60 percentage or 60 gpa throughout the academics okay now directly i will continue with the registration video okay so once you go through these detail they have mentioned different frequently asked questions as well all the details have been mentioned over here now let us start with the process you need to click on register here once you click on register here you will be visiting next step portal by tcs now there are two options maybe already you are having account on your next step like tcs next step portal so if you try to log in okay it may say that uh, like you are all uh, like if you try to register and if you are already having account that will give you a prompt that you already have account so in that case you can use the forgot password and log into the system if you are registering for the first time you can click on the register now like if you are a new user now very important thing guys for this particular drive, you need to click on IT. Please do not click on BPS, otherwise your application won't be considered. So if you want to apply for TCS off-campus drive, which is happening right now, make sure you are clicking on IT information. Tech. Once you do that, it will ask you for your email ID. So they will verify your email ID. Okay, so I will be entering email ID now. Then you will get OTP on your email ID. Okay. So we'll just enter the OTP over here. Just give me one moment. Okay, you can uh, use the recent OTP as well if you're not getting the OTP in the first attempt. So once you get the OTP, you can enter it over here and click on submit. So this time they have added the Aadhaar details as well. So you need to enter your last four digits of Aadhaar card. Then you need to enter your complete name, your date of birth, and then you need to click on I agree. Okay, then again, you will get all the details, uh, the privacy notice, you can cross check all the details and then you can click on act. Once you do that, you can click, once you do that, you can click on proceed. Now, again, some personal details they have mentioned over here, Aadhaar card and title is already there. You can select a gender. So there is one more personal details page, which you will get where Aadhaar details and then you need to enter your title like Mr. Miss or Mrs. Okay, then you need to enter your gender mobile number, institute name, most of the institute names are already available in the list. Okay, you can just search it. If not, then click on others. From qualification, you can mention Bachelor of Engineering or uh, like uh, ME, MTech, whatever your uh, qualification is. Then select year of passing. Year of passing should be 2024. If you are from 2023, 2022 or any other batch, do not apply. Okay, because uh, only this particular opportunity is for 2024 batch. And later on, they will be cross-checking your documents. Okay, then you can select the nearest TCS office. Uh, okay, so I have selected Pune. And then you can select the, you can enter the CAPTCHA and then click on submit. Ask you for the confirmation of your email ID, confirmation of your mobile number. You can click on confirm. Once you confirm it, you will get a notification that thank you for registering with TCS Next Step portal. And then they will provide you the reference ID for all the further communication. So click on continue and enter the OTP sent on your register email ID to complete the application form. So now you need to click on continue. I will just enter the capture which is which has been given. Okay, now I need to wait for the OTP verification. Then one more OTP will be shared on your register email ID. You need to type that a particular OTP and then click on login. Once you do that, you will get application form. It may take some time to load as many students are attempting to uh, uh, like submit this particular form at the same time. Now important instructions, the form is divided into following four sections. It is mandatory to enter all the details like personal details, academic, other details, and form preview, okay? Fields marked with the star are mandatory. To save the details and navigate, click save, use save and continue. Now, to submit the form, click submit application form in form preview and declaration. Now, very important thing, please review all the details properly before submitting the form to avoid errors. You can use the application form for a preview feature after filling in mandatory fields. In case you wish to edit any detail, you can navigate to relevant section. Click save after editing any details in the form. To submit the form with the updated details, click submit application form. Now, 
please note if you do not submit the form after editing any details details will not be saved so it is very important to submit the form okay so now let us start start filling the form click on this now the basic details it has already fetched like nearest tcs office then it has fetched the your original name once you go on this particular page it will ask you to enter your father's name then permanent address whether the permanent address and the present address is same that particular option will be given and then you need to add if any alternate contact details are available then you can click on save and continue and go to the next page in the next page you need to enter your academic and work experience details now important thing marks or cgpa obtained denotes total marks or cgpa secured by you in all the subjects in all the semester in the first attempt then total marks denotes total uh, of maximum marks in all the subjects in all semester in first attempt okay so basically if your exam was from out of 800 marks and how many marks you got you need to calculate from first semester to the last semester okay verify your marks after entering as it is a part of the selection criteria please mention only 12th duration in 12th grade details Please do not add 11th duration in the same. This is very important. I will give you idea in some time about it. Okay. Now, marks or CGPA obtained during the normal duration of the course only will be considered to decide the eligibility. Okay. So let us start. Continue. So institute name, it is already there. Highest qualification year of passing is already there. So save and continue. Now, Bachelor of Engineering course duration. So now students from 2024 batch, you will be graduating probably in the month of June, right? So I will enter 10 June 2024 as your last date. And then if you calculate four years back, okay? So maybe just if you go, I will select over here. 2020. So 2020 June, select one as a date. Okay, so total four years can be calculated. Course type should be full time. Specialization, you need to select your branch. I will just select computer science for now. Okay. Then marks. So total marks obtained, just to give a demo. Okay. I will enter 600 as a total marks, marks obtained and total maximum marks out of 800. Okay. Now what you need to do, you need to calculate all the semesters from first till the latest one. You need to calculate all the marks obtained total marks. So suppose each exam was like 500 or 600 marks. You need to add it and then calculate the total number of marks. Then click on save and continue. Okay. So on this page, you need to select whether you have done 12th or diploma or both. I have selected 12th as of now, then specialization science, then university name. I have mentioned board of education. You can mention, I have mentioned like a state board. Now course duration is very important for 12th. Please only mention your 12th duration in 12th grade details. Do not add 11th duration. So as you can check, we have start like you have started your engineering in the year 2020, right? So your 12th should be from 2019 to 2020. Okay. So what I will do, I will select May 2019. Okay. For example, maybe 10th May and then for end date, okay, what I will do, I will select 2020. Okay, May and maybe 15th as the date. Okay, and then course type will be full time. Total marks, I will just enter like 660. Total maximum marks like 800. Then I will click on save and continue. So on this page, you are supposed to enter your roll number, then university, then board of education, whether it was state board, CBSC or anything else. For the course duration, when your 10th standard started and when it ended, then grading system can be like marks or CGPA. So I have entered some demo marks over here. You need to enter your correct marks. Okay. Click on save and continue. Have you done any other course? If yes, you need to give all the details over here. I have mentioned like I will mention like no. Do you have any relevant experience? Yes or no? Okay. No. Please do not mention internship or training as relevant experience. Okay. That is very important. Uh, for relevant experience, they have allowed two uh, less than two years of experience for post-graduation. So those candidates are allowed, but for UG, they have not allowed anything. Okay. So do you have any relevant work experience? No. And then the declaration, do you have any breaks in study? If you have, you need to mention or else no. Have you done any other courses? No. Do you have any pending backlog currently? No. Please note in the eligibility criteria, they have mentioned no uh, active backlog is allowed. 
please mention details of academic projects guys please utilize this text box perfectly okay mention all the academic projects you have done properly what was the title what was the aim which technologies you have used so mention that okay now for all these declarations what they have asked first question is you have taken all the subject marks into consideration yes the marks or cgpa obtained and entered by you are like as has secured into the first attempt yes you have considered only the marks obtained during the normal duration of the course to calculate yes you have completed each of the above mentioned academic courses in the stipulated time as specified by university yes you have declared break in studies or work experience and pending backlogs if any yes for that you have not attended any tcsl selection process in last 6 month yes and you have read all the tcsl eligibility criteria yes so if there is anything else just make sure you read it properly and accordingly select yes or no that is very important okay and at the end they will ask you to click on i agree okay so i will just click on i agree to continue for the next page okay save and continue now nationality you need to select okay so basically you can click on india then over here you need to add the languages that you know like hindi english or maybe any other language that you know speak read write which language is your mother tongue you can do that i have just added english for the demo purpose right now if you have done any language certification like in german or maybe japanese you can add it over here it will help you then click on save and continue then you can mention if you have got any achievements scholarship etc in this particular box and if you have any certification you can add the certifications over here okay by clicking on add new certification then click on save and continue then you will get this particular page where you need to enter the smart card details smart card is your tcs identity card which will be handed over to you once you join the company so make sure you enter your name correctly like the first name last name then enter your blood group then you need to enter your photo or add your photo so for photo they have given you the size details as well make sure you follow that and then you need to upload your latest cv okay so make sure you upload that cv into the pdf format so that will be they have not mentioned it but that will be helpful okay then click on save and continue now the last details okay regarding security are you involved in any pending or close civil criminal case enquiry prior to joining tcs no most probably right so you need to enter all those details next are you involved in any pending or close disciplinary or mal practices okay so again the no answer will be there you can read it in detail later on now note is basically if the answer to any of the above question is yes give full particulars of the case or arrest or detention or fine or conviction or sentence or punishment okay so that will be helpful for tcs to understand then later on guys you can click on application form preview to cross check if you have entered all the details i would suggest you to click on that and check if all the details are properly entered then have you entered for the tcs test or interviews earlier no then tcs terms and conditions you need to enter agree and then you can enter the location at the end and then click on submit application form once you click on submit application form you will get a pop up like would you like to apply for tcs recruitment drive click on yes okay once you click on that particular part you will get this particular option okay so what they have mentioned in tcsl we believe the flexibility to work from any location is imperative not only to meet our global business but also for overall development of our employees if offered the organization will consider your selection of preferred location however the final decision of job location will reside with tcsl and will depend on the organization's need to service a business requirement now first you need to select nearest tcs center for exam tcs ion center okay so once you click on that i will just click uh, some random center over here okay maybe maybe okay, i will just go over here in kolhapur then what are the preferred job location once you join the company or whenever you are going to join the company which are the three preferred location okay so it is not mandatory that they will follow it but they may consider that particular location so i will just randomly give some locations okay so you can enter as per your convenience and then click on apply so now you have applied to the recruitment drive 
your registration process is over okay now it's time to start with the preparation because only registration is not enough you need to prepare for the exam as well so as i have mentioned earlier we have started with the tcs nqt cracker course i have added the link in the particular youtube video so you can click on that link i have added one coupon code as well the name of the coupon code is ready r e a d y so like whether you are ready for this particular placement preparation or not okay so what you are going to get in this particular tcs nqt cracker course we are going to cover live sessions for previously asked tcs nqt questions if any student is not sure about basics of aptitude coding dsa they are going to get detailed self paced videos from basic you are going to have mock interview with industry expert so one to one online interview will happen and then apart from that how to prepare for digital then uh, all the digital readiness module and everything will be provided so once you go on the link you can cross check our various testimonials given by our successful student all the details have mentioned uh, like i have mentioned over here once you join you get a dashboard like this so we have created a detailed study plan as the number of days are very less you need to go plan wise okay you need to go step by step you cannot watch some random videos you cannot go through some random uh, blogs on website or youtube you need to follow a proper plan okay then only you will get the result so we have created a detailed study plan for tcs which you can follow and then as i have mentioned suppose if you want to learn aptitude from basics again all the topics of aptitude all the topics are available and also please note once you join this tcs and qt cracker course it is going to be helpful for tcs as well as all other companies because we are going to provide you foundation training of aptitude and coding which is necessary for all the company so these are the companies as you can check these are the modules of aptitude as you can check over here like elementary statistics script arithmetic all the topics are available also one very important thing all the topics come with the quizzes so whenever you watch a single percentage video immediately you will be giving quiz on percentage so you can cross check whatever you have studied whether you can implement that knowledge or not now those students who are not good with the verbal ability we have created english grammar course as well basic course you can go through that and then solve the verbal related question basically all the topics of quant logical verbal we have covered over here in technical courses you are going to get c cpp java python data structure in all the languages database operating system computer networks each and everything is available over here also all the topics are from basic to advanced so even if any non csit student want to study coding they can go through this particular part and then the next important part is tcs specific previous year questions we have more than 150 hours of content for tcs for preparation for different roles like prime ninja digital also we are going to take tcs specific live sessions as well okay so just to give you overview of one of the course as you can check so many videos are there which we have already conducted and we are going to conduct some new sessions as well it is more than enough for your preparation of tcs if you dedicate daily 3 to 4 hours for this particular preparation you can crack the tcs exam and then the next will be resume and interview preparation so as i have mentioned you will be getting mock interview so uh, that particular interview will be one to one interview so it will help you to reduce your fear of interview we have also created technical interview guidance course okay how you need to answer the different questions based on your resume subject wise questions are also available over here so you can go through that same way we have provided you personal interview questions we have provided you different cover letter email writing related courses as well so this is the dashboard which you get we have very limited seats as i have mentioned you need to go on this link click on buy now and make sure you use the coupon code ready r e a d y now you don't need to wait for the live sessions to start once you join immediately you can continue with the live sessions i have already added the detailed study plan over here you need to start accordingly i have also created one video how to prepare for tcs nqt using talent battle course so it is not like a random thing we are going to provide you we are going to help you detail step by step if you are having any queries regarding tcs application tcs preparation make sure you comment on this particular video share this video with your friends okay already as we know there are very less opportunities right now happening for 2024 batch consider this like a golden opportunity please do not take this opportunity lightly they are providing you different packages like it is like 3.35 is also available 9 lpa is available 
depending on your preparation you can target the company but please do not miss or skip or take lightly this particular opportunity for all the preparation for anything you need you can connect with us all the best with your preparation thank you